for uh, taking off stubborn uh, screws and stuff. Uh, there's different bits you can get for it, but what you do is you apply it like if you're going to loosen it, you set your bit on there, and then you start turning it, and then you hit the back side with the hammer right here. And if you need to tighten it, you turn it the other way and hit this back side once again. Uh, this was handed down to me from my father. Okay, in this drawer I used to have a lot more, but uh, I've moved everything over to my new box, but I'll make a separate video on that. This thing is amazing. It's a snap-on 14.4 screwdriver, and it's got two settings, one high speed, uh, two for high speed, one for uh, low speed, high torque. And it is the CT S761 HV. I'll make a video on that if you guys want to know more about it. It's pretty cool. It's got two little lights. And then uh, this is my Milwaukee hex driver, quarter inch, but I have different adapters for it. It's the part of the M18 Red Lithium series, and it's got an indicator. It's pretty powerful. But I have a Milwaukee drill and a flashlight that came with this. But uh, those are my other box, because my tool cart is what I primarily use on a daily basis. Um, back up here really quick before I forget, just about every one of these is a Pittsburgh Harbor Freight socket, and I have yet to break one. I had to replace the 22 though with the Sun X, and I'll make a review on Sun X sockets, but that was simply because I had to give one of my co-worker in Slippery Rock because he got a lug nut stuck in his and it was a long story but it's whatever. Uh, these things are fucking amazing to have if you're doing exhaust manifolds or uh, bell housing bolts that are 15 millimeter. That one's a half inch, that one's a 3 8 and it's a Swivel Deep by Sunex. I have a Cornwall spark plug socket, 5 8 uh, different adapters and then a snap-on uh, like 3 inch Three-eighths drive extension. I had a bench top, but uh, it's older than me, and it hasn't broken yet. Running it on an impact, but I figured I'd replace it with something like that. Three-eighths deep, all Sunex from eight millimeter to twenty-two millimeter. Same way with the shallows; those are all Sunex. Um, I used to have Genius set, but I took that home once I upgraded, and these are quarter inch. Shallows through deep Sun X as well. Down here, I have some daily use wrenches. They're a craftsman set, but I'm gonna upgrade those eventually because if I get my 13, you can see it's all fucked up. I was doing an alignment and it slipped. But yeah, it's whatever. You get what you pay for. I'm about to set on sale for like 20 bucks, if that. That used to be my screwdriver drawer too, though. But my wrenches used to be here, but I switched it around. Some vice grips, uh, Cornwall pliers. They're pretty decent, but I'm going to get like a plier organizer because to me this looks horrendous. Um, some trim tool removals. These are Cornwall. I got the small one. And the big one, I actually found this one. There's a different story to that, but it's pretty neat. These are those uh, adapters I was talking about. They're from Harbor Freight, and they've been holding up just fine. These are Sunex screwdrivers, and they're cheap. Really cheap. I mean, I don't beat up my tools, and I try wiping them off every day, but for some odd reason, the grease just stays in them, and you can't get them out. And the tip broke, so I had to make it myself. It, it broke flush, so it took me like 15 minutes on a benchtop grinder to make that. But for 10 bucks I paid, they've been pretty decent. Down here, this thing is a badass motherfucker for a air hammer. It came in a set with like six of these uh, different styles, but these aren't covered under warranty and they're kind of cheap. Like this one, every once in a while, I have to re-grind it into a point, but that's just kind of my daily use one. I got the heavy-duty set. I haven't used them yet. 
because I keep grabbing those because I'm an idiot. Harbor Freight pry bars, that's a different story, but you get what you pay for. They've been pretty good. Uh, tire inflator, I don't know what brand it is, but it sucks. I'm going to be upgrading. Cornwall grease gun. There it is. It's been pretty good. I love it. Um, this is a Cornwall dead blow hammer, and it's made by uh, Good Cook, I believe is what the brand is actually. It was just uh, remarketed for a truck, and on sale I paid 50 bucks for it. Not much of a sale, huh? Because I asked him how much it was, and he told me it was on sale, but yeah. But it's been pretty good. You know, I think it was money well spent. I used the hell out of this.